In this video, we are exploring what may look like some 17th century castle from a noble family, but are in fact abandoned barracks built in the end of the 19th century in Hungary. These barracks are the remaining part of what used to be then the largest artillery ranch in Europe. The small town we are in would just be an ordinary small town in Hungary if Austrian Emperor Franz Josef I had not ordered that a military settlement be constructed here. So, in the end of the 19th century, began the construction of what was to become Hungary's largest artillery range, which included a lot of buildings which now have changed destination or more often were demolished, and the building that we are exploring today which, while it may look like a palatial castle, was the barracks for the artillery unit. While and some time after World War I, the camp included prisoners of war prison. The camp was quite self-sustaining, and the prisoners were able to get an income from their work in an internal currency. During World War II, the German troops used the camp as a base, as what was then the Kingdom of Hungary was a member of the Axis powers alongside Nazi Germany and Italy. After the war, it was the Soviet army's turn to move in, until the fall of the Soviet Union in 1990. Soviet soldiers left hurriedly, stripping the building of any valuable they could find on the way out. After they left, so now for more than 30 years, the main building was just left disused and decaying, with time making some heavy damage to the roof. While most of the buildings from the original artillery range were demolished, New modern residential buildings were built, sometimes very close to the original barracks, notably to accommodate soldiers from a new military base settled a few kilometers away. The most interesting part inside the building is the entrance hall with its magistral and pictorial staircase.
Once you leave the hall and the staircase, the building is essentially an endless chute of corridors and empty rooms. But don't worry, we will save you the exploration of the almost one kilometer of corridors over three levels, and we will guide you directly to the most interesting parts that we have found. In 30 years without anybody taking care of it, the courtyard has been reclaimed by nature in an impressive manner, and you can go from one side to the other only through some small paths, which cross through a thick forest. We began climbing up these stairs, but it didn't feel that safe, so we won't be able to show you what lays upstairs. Likely another large empty room anyway, as the tower seems to have been built in the more recent past using concrete. Originally, this hall was banquet and reception hall. Later, it became a theater and even a movie theater. Some decorative elements remind us that this is not just any theater, but that we are in an artillery centered military building.
așa e teatrul și e, acum e băieții că sunt acolo și, și cu, cu muzica. What will be the future of this place? It just seems to be falling more in disrepair with time, but while we were exploring, we came across an architect making measurements. So who knows, maybe this gives some hope that the building may be restored or at least consolidated in the near future. This is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.